Hello, everyone. My name is Wu Zhang. I'm a doctoral student in Dr. Abdul Hakam Al Azabi's research group. Today, I'm going to introduce zinc anode based electrochrome devices. Here is an outline of the topics. Firstly, I'm going to give some background information of electrochrome devices and the motivation to introduce zinc anode based electrochrome devices. After that, I'm going to explain what's the meaning of zinc anode and the electrochrome devices, how to get improved. Uh, this is following by three examples based on zinc anode based electrochrome devices. Finally, I'm going to give a conclusion. So what are electrochrome devices? Basically, an electrochromic device can reversibly change its optical states under applied voltages, as shown in, shown in the left figure. This kind of electrochrome device, also known as smart window, can reversibly change between bright, cool, and dark states. On the right side, it shows how the applied voltage is switching these two different transmittance of the smart window. By switching the different applied voltages, we can obtain different optical states of the electrochromic devices. So what's the basic mechanism of the electrochromic devices? The image on the top shows a conventional electrochromic device. Conventional electrochromic devices consist of a substrate a conducting layer, ion storage layer, electrolyte, and the electrochrome layer. The image on the bottom shows the working principle of this kind of device. Under different, different applied voltages, the ions in the electrolytes are switched between the ion storage layer and the, the electrochrome layer. In this way, the electrochrome device shows a coloration process and the decoloration process. This is the basic mechanism of conventional electrochrome devices. However, the operation of conventional electrochrome devices require applied voltages in both coloration and the decoloration processes. This is not an energy efficient technology. So how to reduce the power supply? We introduce zinc anode based electrochromic devices. Here is a demonstration comparing the conventional electrochromic devices and the zinc anode based electrochromic devices shown on the left side. Left side, conventional electrochromic devices possess one piece of ion storage layer and one piece of electrochrome layer. However, for zinc anode based electrochromic devices, we replace the ion storage layer with another electrochromic layer was shown on the right side. And then we also insert a piece of zinc foil between the two electrochrome layers. So what's going to happen for this stru stru structure? We are going to have a new working principle. For conventional electrochrome devices, as shown in the top image, ions are switched between the, uh, the ion storage layer and the, the electrochrome layer. However, for zinc, anode-based electrochrome devices was shown in the bottom image. The redox potential differences between the zinc anode and the electrochrome layer provides a driving force that activates the oxidation of zinc and the re reduction of the electrochrome layer. This means we can achieve a self-coloration process through powering external electrons. And uh, we can also bleach the electrochrome layer under uh, ex uh, external applied voltages. In this zinc-based device structure, only one process consume energy, but for the conventional electrochromic devices, energy are, con are consumed in both coloration and the decoloration processes. Also, the energy provided to power the external electronics enable partially retrieved energy consumed in bleaching process. That's how the energy retrieval function works. Next, I'm going to show three examples of zinc-based electrochromic devices. 
The first example is high-performance smart window enabled by zinc-based electrochrome devices. As shown in figure A, a piece of zinc foil was sandwiched between two tungsten oxide electrodes. The redox potential differences between the zinc anode and the tungsten oxide electrochromic layer provides a 1.1 volt open circuit potential shown in figure B. Show, uh, this open circuit potential enables the self-coloration process through lighting and LED shown in figure C. So this zinc anode-based electrochromic devices can power the external electronics electronics and at the same time change its color. Also, we have two electrochrome layers. This is distinguished to one electrochrome layer of conventional electrochrome devices. In this way, this zinc-based electrochrome device possesses 77 optical contrast. This is the highest reported optical contrast to date. Next example is transparent multicolor displays enabled by zinc anode-based electrochrome devices. In this device, we introduced an electrochromic material called SVO. A single SVO electrode can switch between orange, yellow, and green color states. Shown in figure A, this zinc-based electrochromic device was assembled by sandwiching a piece of zinc, fo zinc foil between two SVO electrodes. Since we have a zinc foil between the two electrodes, the top and the bottom electrodes can operate independently. So the color overlay strategy was introduced as shown in figure B. For example, the number four, the orange color on top and the green color on the bottom. A brown, a brown color can be generated through the color overlay. In this way, since a single SVO electrode can switch between three different colors, the device can switch between six distinct colors. Showing figure F. <clears throat> this device also possesses a high transmittance as shown in figure C. And also because of the redox potential differences between the zinc anode and the SVO electrochromic layer, this device can self-colorize by lighting an LED showing in figure D and E. The last example is solar charging smart windows enabled by zinc anode-based electrochromic devices. We connect, connect a solar cell with an electrochromic layer uh, device. As shown in figure A, the solar cell can power the zinc-based electrochromic devices during the daytime, and this device can power external electro electronics at night. Figure C shows a prototype device of the solar charging smart window. And the figure D demonstrates the optical contrast at daytime and at night. So for the whole smart window system, no external power is required. And the system can also power external electronics. More interesting, in figure B, we also introduce a transparent zinc mesh. Zinc mesh. This zinc mesh possesses high optical contrast transmittance around 90%. The conclusion. In this presentation, we introduce the zinc anode based electrochromic devices. Compared to conventional electrochromic devices, zinc anode based electrochromic devices can eliminate the voltage requirement for the coloration process and enable partial retrieval of the electrical energy consumed during the bleaching process. It also enabled the independent operation of the top and the bottom electrodes, thus providing a strategy of color overlay. The device can also be connected with a solar cell to form a solar charging smart window system. This window system can be colorated through solar charging during the daytime and be bleached at night by, by powering external electronics. These are the key features of zinc anode-based electrochrome devices. Thank you.